he's going to do is stretch the dough. He's going to use the very same hand position. One hand is going to guide the dough, and the other one is actually going to bring the dough to size. He's going to be making a 10-inch pizza today, and when he gets to the size he thinks it's going to be, you just put the screen over to make sure you're where you need to be, and you can see that he's done a really good job, even though it's only his second day on the job. <laughs> Nicely done. So next he's going to pick up the dough and he's going to put it on the screen, and this is where we want to really make it take shape. And come on in, we won't bite hard. So he's going to make it round, put it on the screen, and it looks like that. Sauce. Sauce. And he's going to use this guy. Anybody know what this is called? A ladle. A ladle, close. A spoon. A spoon, close. If you put those together, like a somebody else, a spoodle. <laughs> and this uh, particular utensil was actually designed by a Domino's Pizza Store manager in the early 80s. We have a world's fastest pizza maker competition, and he was looking for a leg up on the competition. And he took a ladle and he pounded it out flat, and he found out that this really worked well to sauce. And since then, we've made a lot of iterations on it, and we've come up with some other ones. Uh, but this is the one that Jeff's going to be using today. And his goal is to get that sauce on in three swirls or less. Kind of like a spirograph. He's just going to go around in swirls. So there's one, two, three. And give Jeff a big round of applause. So after he gets his sauce on, we're going to put the cheese on. Just going to take the cheese, sprinkle it around, make sure you get the edges first, and then cover up for the middle. It's a global brand. And a brand is a promise of consistency. And we want to make sure that no matter where you get your pizza from, that it's the same Domino's pizza, whether it's in Michigan, whether it's in Baltimore or California. So portioning is very, very important for us to make sure that we're keeping consistency across the board. So Jeff's going to put exactly three and a half ounces of cheese on there. And when it gets done, you're going to see that you can still see some sauce coming up through the cheese. So now, if you went into a Domino's pizza store anywhere across the nation, you'd see posters across this wall. Kind of like you see over there on that wall. And that's how our pizza makers know what portions to put on the pizzas. When you go into the pizza theater, you'll see them there too. And that's how all of our team members make sure they're putting the right amount of portions on and giving the customers exactly what they want so they have a great Domino's pizza experience. So do I top this at all with more cheese or is it good? You're not going to need to at this point. We want to wait till it comes completely out of the baking chamber on the other end so that we get just the correct bake. Go ahead. So you don't even need to time it if it, it, it times it for you. That's right? correct. You this particular right. belt is set at 6 minutes and 30 seconds, oh. which means it's about a 7 minute and 10 second yeah. bake time. Yeah. The 6.30 is leading edge in to leading edge out, and obviously we want the entire pizza to get out. Take this from you, bud. That one looks like a center cut.